Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, coming to you from the OU Innovation Hub's Fab Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your laser cutting and engraving. First off, when raster engraving, the laser can only travel left to right along the x-axis. If you've noticed, it also overshoots the engraving area by about an inch on each side. This is so it can slow down and speed back up for the backwards pass on the next line. The laser software cannot raster engrave in any other way. It always left to right. And so when you lay out your files, you can exploit this fact to gain some speed. The absolute worst thing you can do is to etch two thin vertical lines on opposite sides of the laser. It spends 99.999% of its time traveling, hardly ever firing the laser. Look at the estimated time for this job. One hour, 25 minutes, and 14 seconds. That's ridiculous. If you were to rotate this whole thing 90 degrees so that the lines are on top and bottom, you can see that it now only takes 1 minute 16 seconds. So now let's get on to more practical matters. Say you're engraving copies of things that contain text. You should always make use of the x-axis before you begin filling things in the y-axis because of that travel and overshoot problem. When I cut the prototypes of my marker mates, I had to cut many little end caps and they all have text. And the, lo uh, the goal is to minimize production time. So I had to decide how to lay out the files. There are two basic choices, and one is the normal layout, and the other is a 90 degree rotation. They look basically the same, but check this out. There are far more gaps in the y direction with the normal layout on the left, and gaps in the y direction equals speed. Because the laser will etch this section, and then skip this area, and then etch this one, and then skip this one, and so on. With the 90 degree layout, the text is far less dense in the x direction, and so it's going to spend more time traveling than etching and it might as well be firing and doing useful work. So, I'll say this again, but a slightly different way, because it's the single most important rule when engraving fast. Maximize your engraving along the x-axis first before you begin to fill anything in the y direction. Now there's another little trick that when you have a bunch of rectangles that you need to cut out. Make them share a border. If you copy and paste this shape over and over, you're actually going to have a bunch of vector cuts that overlap because the laser is going to end up going over each area twice. When you have a case like this, you need to eliminate one of the border lines before you copy the shapes. This way, it will go over each line only once, and once is twice as fast as twice. Now that pretty much covers the layouts. A lot of people want to make box joints for boxes, and the great thing about this is that you can just lay out your parts already interlocked, sharing the same cut lines. Because the laser's kerf is so narrow that it'll glue up nicely with just enough room for the glue. One other trick is to forego raster engraving and do vector engraving instead. To do vector engraving, you make your stroke width .001 points here around your lettering, and you make it full blue, 000FF or 00255. And I'm not going to use a fill here on these letters. And you can see that it looks pretty neat. But you don't save any time, really, if you're doing lots of lettering. The larger the item, the more time you'll save by using vector engraving. Just look at the estimated times for these two different sizes of stars. You saw earlier in the video just how long raster engraving can take. Well now you know the super secret tricks that I use when setting up my files. These tricks will help you save a ton of time in your engraving. We also have a third 150 watt laser that'll help too. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson coming to you from the OU Innovation Hub's Digital Fabrication Lab. And what do you want to make?